Hello one for a new video. So after the bleepo stuff, I didn't really wasn't able to really sell it off. So we ended up having to try to find a build that we can make on about a two itself budget until things sort of somewhat sell. So someone from my chat mentioned Toxic Rain. It's a build I never played before. It's my first time ever playing it. And since we got the new uh, MTX from this league, the little hands, might as well give it a try. So we pushed this character on stream yesterday, and then the day before I did off stream. We went through the campaign. We're at level 78 now. We just ended the stream yesterday at this. We have three Conquerors ready, two 10 boss fights ready, and Osiris ready once he's spirit done. So pretty much, we pushed this pretty far. We got the, where are they at? There. We got all four labs done. Campaign was pretty easy to go through with this character. I did it pretty much without you changing anything until we went to this setup at level 70, 72 ish. So, pretty much, the, I'll do a map showcase soon. So, we are pretty much strictly evasion based and chance of blinding our enemies. So, we had, our health is pretty bad because of that. But, pretty much, it's lab one, two, three, and four. That's the order I went. This was nice for the recovery, more damage, damage, so it's really good early and helps out while leveling. Skill tree wise, I pretty much just went straight like this. Up, get the life, the damage, around. Shoot down here, go get the uh, leech. Shoot all the way up to get the damage. And then I went down this way, pushed the phase aggro back. Then I went back up here. If you have Transcendent Mine, put it in. It's about a 12. 15% more damage. If you don't have this, then skip these two points and just put them on. Uh, skip the Frenzy also. You don't need the Frenzy really until you get the Phantasmal Toxic Ring. But those are about 8 exalts. And that's why I haven't picked up my 2 points yet either. Your Elusive. Damage. Well, Cluster Jewels will pass. So, a Cluster Jewel with this build adds. Like over 3 million damage, so it's really good to get this cluster jewel when you can. On the large, you pretty much want Field of Flight, uh, Martial Prowess, and Temporal Arrowhead. So, damage over time, more attack speed, leeching, your um, leeching pretty much, attack speed, more attack speed, more damage over time. It's very good. Both mediums are exact copies of each other. You both want five passes or less chaos damage over time. And pretty much um, exposed therapy is about 10% more damage and 30% res is, uh, chaos res against damage over time. So it does help because the two of them gives you plus 60. And then you want two wicked ball, you want wicked pal on each one for a 35% increase um, chaos damage and also skill effect duration. And then both of the uh, jewels. One's a replica of pure talent for the 12% um, more attack speed. And then on the other one is just a Conqueror's um, Potency. This is the one you get in Act 8. This is the blue gem, that one. Pretty much just gives you a little bit more um, effect to your curse. That's all it really does. It's You could definitely skip this and put something else in here instead. Like down here, your damage nodes. There's a Maya the Meek in here. You don't really have to put get this if you don't want to get these two skill points. You can just put a point on here and save the one skill point. And probably get the frenzy charges later. But pretty much this get also is wrecked out my corrupted blood, so it's the cheapest. It was very cheap on doing it here. It was like two maybe an X or two. But this gives you more life, more decks, or your I don't know if it buffs these or not. Decks, yeah. Then this way, your damage, life, damage. Wind Dancer is extremely good. Get this when you can for more uh, damage reduction. Up here for attack speed or damage. If you have a Watcher's Eye, the best one to get is either the one that uh, lets you recoup mana when you take damage to for a little bit uh, defensive layer. Or you can go the damage over time malevolence. It's about, it's expensive though, about 12 to 15 X. And you can put it here if you get it. I don't have one yet, so that's why it's empty. 
your um, skill effect duration. This is about 3 million damage right here, so it's really good to get this. And then your resistance. Because right now I'm shooting to get these two life points right here. Once I get these two life points, I'm going to grab these uh, resistance nodes and get the Thread of Hope on very large right here. Because the Thread of Hope here, it lets you pick up these three points. It's like 3 million damage. It's an exact copy of this. Uh, something else. You get to um, Profane Chemist down here for more life. And uh, where is it? I think I'm blocking it. Oh, there it is. There you are. And you also get overcharge for an 8% chance to gain pow uh, power, frenzy, or endurance on kill. So it's more quality of life. That's pretty much the skill tree in general. And then like your whole cyan wheel, I get this at the end. So after I get these two, finish the thread of hope, I'm just going to get all points on these health, uh, life nodes. And get these uh, frenzies eventually. And that's pretty much it with the skill tree. Very simple. So, um, and also take two passive points, because you need all the passive points you can get. So the gear on this character, uh, the bow, this is probably the best in slot bow you can get. With, um, the only changes you want to make is you want to get the harvest craft, the, instead of quality, you do like AOE for, uh, 4%. That's what I'm trying to get eventually. It's just finding one's hard. That adds like 1.2 million, I think. So ideally you want like, um, these bows are also really cheap this league. I got this bow for 13x with all white slockets, quality, pretty much everything already done. So with the uh, tier 1 attack speed and everything, or essence tier uh, attack speed. So it's definitely the best route to go, especially for 13x, it's worth it. And you want to get like damage over time, plus 1 to socketed gems, uh, essence craft speed, attack speed. And then get uh, crafted mods with um, plus two level socket of gems and uh, tier three uh, chaos damage over time. And then gems in here, mine is just toxic rain and power level four because it pushes always level seven. So that's why toxic rain is level twenty six and really it's only level eighteen gem. Your uh, concentrated effect, ideally, either you can go twenty one twenty. Or a 20, 23 are the exact same. 21, 23 if you can afford it. But that's why, for me, I just went with the... Um, I bought a 123 and this love on it because it's cheaper. Uh, then Awaken Vicious, Swift, and Void. If you want to put a Mirage Archer in, a 21, 23, instead of one of these three, you can. It's just you're going to lose a lot of damage, but you deal more because Mirage Archer. So it's hard which way to see. And I recommend also getting a Phantasmal Toxic Rain for the extra um, arrow. And it's because that does a lot of damage. Helmet. Um, Aceran's Chan is probably best to put in here for triggering a socketed spell when you use a bow skill. And it gives you more attack speed, movement speed, so it's really good overall. And then pretty much in here, um, like Anonymous Essence Drain for the, um, for the Regenerate Life, Contagion, for... Um, it's good overall, these two. Void Spear is optional. You can run Soul Rain if you stead. Void, Void Spear is just nice because it gets rid of all the uh, corpse explosions from the bodies. That's the reason I'm running it. And then Despair for your curse. While you're leveling, the only thing you need is Despair to cast on your the bosses and everything on the rare packs. And then a 6 lane Toxic Rain and whatever you can put in there. That's all I used to leveling all the way up until I started switching into the stuff like this. So I got to the level, I think it's 68 for the bow or 66. But that pretty much carried me as just despair alone. Eventually, if you can afford, get a despair on your one of your rings. So you can free that slot up and put like um, soul run in here. There's a lot of options you can put once you get the um, despair on hit ring. I just couldn't afford it. And then the quiver. Um, this is pretty much a damage over time quiver. You probably don't want the uh, fire damage to add to your skill. So you can run um, elemental reflect maps. I just, this was 7 chaos for this uh, Swidus Widest body compared to 3 exalts. For other tier, tier 1 damage over times, it was just cheap with, uh, res with a good life roll and good resistance on it. Because resistance, you will struggle. 
if you don't want to go the belt option, which I'm trying to, I was trying to avoid with the headhunter. But like um, amulet, chaos damage over time. Um, look for either plus one level of chaos or dex. They both do the same thing, or get both if you can afford it. But you will need somewhere either on the amulet or the rings, or even the gloves. You need intelligence somewhere, like a very high roll, like how this is. Because intelligence and strength are going to be your two struggle things, especially intelligence more than strength. Because you need 155 intelligence, I think, versus the 140 uh, strength to use all your gems. And that's why it's got on here. And this says Chaos Res now, but eventually I want to get rid of that and put actual resistance on here. And then make sure you also craft non-channeling skills with the highest you can get on your all your three jewelry slots. Just because your Toxic Ring destroys your mana. And then pretty much, uh, like eventually this is going to be just resistance. And then also anoint corruption for the more chaos damage and then more uh, leech. And then both ring slots, pretty much on one of them, you want to get all attributes, at least a 10 or 12. And then just get life and crazy resistance. That's what this is pretty much. This is a, uh, all res plus three res trying to get high on them. I just need to remove... Um, Remove defense so I can craft another uh, non-channeling. So I can bring this down to almost 10 mana cost, which I can just spam the crap out of it. Yeah. And then pretty much also... That's pretty much it. Like all res, resistance. You're going to struggle with resistance. That's what the uh, belt's for, is just to fix it at the end. Um, King Sui is the best in slot. You don't need a 6 link. Just get a 4 link, and I put a 2 link uh, cast on death and portal setup because I, I do die a lot with this build. So this is hate, makes my life, this is quality of life. And like your flame dash, your second win, withering step, and blood rage on your 4 link. Because your blood rage, once you cast it once when you start a map, you'll never have to cast it again. It should just last the whole map, which is nice. And then your flame dash and withering step share cooldown, so just be careful on that. Um, Aziri Steps is what I recommend. If you can get movement speed, it's probably the best enchantment. Because these are nice because it's um, dodge, movement speed, life. And then pretty much it's your cast on damage taken level 6. Immortal Call level 8. With duration. And then Enduring Cry, just make sure you don't over level this. Like 140 is probably where I stop. Probably go at least around 15, 14 to 15 to be safe. I went too far with it. Uh, the blue belt last. Gloves. Just look for damage over time, attack speed, life, and resistance. Probably best. And craft an AOE gem if you want. Just to boost the um, level of your uh, Divergent Anonymous is probably the best to get for more damage over time. Anonymous Flesh and Stone. Level 4 on Lightning is probably recommended. 3 or 4. Just because your mana hurts. And a Clarity. You probably want a Val Clarity to be honest. So you can use like a Watcher's Eye with Clarity and stuff. Because ideally the best Watcher's Eye is probably damage over time with Malevolence. And I think it's something with Clarity with like recouping... Let's like, use this skill. It's called... Something with damage taken recoup this mana. So it gives you a little defensive layer. Plus damage at the same time. And then the belt. I was trying to use a Headhunter. I just ran into a resistant problem because I don't have this fixed yet. Or like the um the amulet done so that's why i had to switch to a belt with this strength life and two resistance i had a problem with like eventually i'll fix this like you don't need increased damage with attack skills that's something i would not recommend because like, like i said i could probably put like maybe increased damage it's just expensive i guess or evasion maybe i don't know let's do this Season. With the belt on now, 3 7. Three, eight. So a little bit more damage. Maybe that's why the best do it. Something on there. Let's go on. So pretty much um, in Flask, I didn't really try to fix this Flask stuff yet. It's just right now it's just bubbling, divine, a staunching for bleed immune and instant recovery. A dying sun is very good to have. And during, um, until I can get the third one on, it just helps with the mana. 
movement speed send the well and the movement speed flask that's all it really is you probably want a freeze immune flask as i would recommend that's hurt a lot not having one i've just been lazy on this that's pretty much it on everything let's do the map showcase it's like i'm still leveling the bill so it's not perfect let's just do it by itself But the build's pretty nice. It adds a lot of speed to it. Uh, the POB will be in the description below. I think right now I'm sitting like on like 16 million, I think. And that's with all the pods active. So you pretty much just tap, go. Oh yeah, I forgot. Take your blood magic, blood rage, and just go. You will die also. Just be careful with that you're not indestructible with this build. Until you stuff going. Like, Essence String does help. You just want to make sure you cast out and hit something with it. That's probably the hard part. Come back here later. A lot of it too is once you get your despair on the enemy, they'll die instantly, pretty much. It's just getting the despair takes time. But yeah, you can see that everything's just dying very quickly. now see something like that will kill but this also died that's why it's this build don't do what I do and stand still you will instant die every time that's why that casting damage taking pet up because of that alone we just take it and we just move on but yeah, the build does very well. I'd recommend like put your pods down and just run away. Don't do what I do and like half of the time and I put my pods down to stand there. And that's how I pretty much die like 90% of the time. Because the minute you stand and still, you're probably gonna die with this build. Yeah, like on today's stream, we're gonna try to push to 83, maybe 85 if we're lucky. And then hopefully get some harvest, we can fix our gear or fix the um, the Bleepo character. Like I have the Bleepo up for sale, but I put the prices extremely high just cause like they sell, they sell, they don't sell, then I can keep them to work on. That's pretty much the reason why they're up there in price. Because, like, also, I want to start doing, like, 100% Delirium. There's a lot of project stuff I want to do this league. Because with Saturday be my birthday, I want to try to do some birthday stream, but I don't know what it's going to be. It's still what I'm sort of trying to figure out. But, yeah, right now I've been doing, like, a lot of delve with this build. It does very well. Uh, we take some stack decks, take some of this and this. And nope. Nope, no pots, no, nothing good. So that's pretty much the map showcase. Bill is extremely good. For the amount I paid for it, it's definitely something I will not complain for. Because I spent a lot more on other characters and had worse results. But the build is doing well. We're going to play this probably until we can build up a next build. Because I do have another build down here going. I just got to get a lot more items for it. And I still need to craft the cluster jewels for it. But we'll play this probably for a while. I'll do a next update video on this build. Once we get like the Thread of Hope going. Get some of this stuff hopefully fixed. 
get like maybe like what, 85, 90. Probably like a couple days though. Give me like maybe three, four days I'm hoping. By the weekend I should have it done though. So if be in the description below. If you like what you see, subscribe down below. Come follow me on Twitch. Uh, pretty much we're just going to have fun. Try to get some projects done. And hope everyone liked the build. And hope to see you next time.